the young ones. We just don't have enough people. We don't give birth to enough people. I guess in the German bedrooms, there's maybe not enough going no, on. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 just don't I think I'll cut this out. Okay. I go by the name of Cindy Petronella and welcome to my channel. If you are seeing me for the first time, welcome into my spaceship and do subscribe, all right? And those returning, ah, oh, the regulars, mwah, it's mega love from me. I really appreciate it and the lovely messages, they really make me smile. All right, so this video is a continuation about the video that I did a few days ago and I'll just, just get right into it. I'm gonna touch up on um, four things on this video today. The shortages of skilled workers in Germany, the high demand jobs in Germany, and the job seeker visa, and the last, the nursing sector. Guys, in Germany right now, there is a shortage of qualified workers. I don't get it. Like, Germany is the best country in the world and there is not enough people. So I thought like, let me ask somebody who is German and maybe they could really explain to us what's going on. So I had to call my husband and to just enlighten us what's really going on in Germany. So my love, please have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> Hello out there, hi. Mm -hmm. hey. So can you please tell the people out there who do not know what's going on in Germany mm -hmm. with this high shortage of qualified skilled mm -hmm. workers? Yeah, so a shortage of qualified workers. I mean, I have heard about this for a very long time. It was predicted to come, but nobody believed, you know. Everybody said we will go exactly in this situation, mm -hmm. but and the politicians had so much time to do something against it, and at the end, they all didn't do anything. And oh. now we are in a position where we really have to say, if you need somebody, to, to um, repair your light in the house. You have to wait like two, three weeks, get an appointment. If you want to build a house, we have shortage of people everywhere. Mm. Uh, and so, but at the end, how is it defined like a shortage of um, qualified people? And what does it at the end mean to you? Mm -hmm. So the definition at the end is um, qualified workers in Germany, we say if you have like a university degree or if you have a vocational training, um, for at least two years. Mm -hmm. That's what we talk about. And what does it mean to you? It might mean that you are the one we are looking for to come here to Germany. Where well, you come from, yes, right? At the end, if, if, if you're EU citizen or if you are um, a third country citizen. What is EU for the people who doesn't um, know European EU. Union citizen, mm -hmm. because we have like our, like it's called uh, like a closed job market. Or if you come from a uh, third um, how, how you call it? Third, third world. world. Not third world. Uh, third. <laughs> we have to cut this out now. Okay, if you come from other countries. If you come from any other country. Mm -hmm. so Different uh, countries. Just a third, third country from a third country. Like mm -hmm. e either you come from the EU or Like South a, Africa, a Kenya, mm -hmm. wherever, you know. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And because at the moment in Germany, we have a very crazy demographic change going on. What does it actually mean? It mm. means like that um, at the moment many people leave the labor. Old people go out mm. of work and not enough young people get into it. Let me get you some numbers. For example, in 2030 there are like 45.9 million of employees in Germany, qualified employees. Mm. In 2060, we estimate to have like 35.7, so extremely less wow. than 2030. That means from now it's 2022, mm. we have like one third qualified workers less than we have now. And yeah. so we really have to think, okay, how do we get employees people. in our people in our country mm -hmm. that we can keep like Germany up. economy the economy mm, the best, and our course. life standard and everything and mm. and so that's why we just um, there are many components to encounter this shortage of people okay so what? yeah what for example you can you can say um, we let older people work longer at the moment they go into pension with between 65 67 you can say or mm -hmm. maybe up to 70 or everybody can work as long as he wants 
This is not possible in Germany at the moment, mm -hmm. for example. Or, for example, women who are just starting to have a family to integrate them in jobs quicker. Yeah, this you can yeah. for him. Yeah, good. But, no, but you can do it, for example, if you would say, okay, if the husband stays home, um, he has to be supported by the state with a lot of money mm -hmm. so the, the woman can work. Otherwise, it probably doesn't work. Depends on what kind of job everybody has at that moment. But there are many, many components and ideas mm -hmm. how to encounter this uh, shortage of jobs. Mm -hmm. And the biggest one is like the immigration of people from other countries. Yes. And for sure, um, you want to come here, so you want something from Germans and Germany wants it's something from, from you. you. So we have to give we want labor. something, we have to give something. <laughs> so you give the labor, but mm. also we can give you also a great um, social security, security in general, a great life. And, and if you integrate into Germany, nicely maybe also a great life forever so mm. there are many um, possibilities and opportunities as a Germany. foreigner so this video yeah. is like for foreigners mm -hmm. coming into germany wow exactly that was quite mm -hmm. informative yeah thank you so much you know i hope this can help somebody out there with what you've shared with us mm -hmm. and we appreciate yeah. it i think i hope so i yeah. hope that helps you and mm -hmm. I, I can just say you're welcome and um we, leave uh, we love people from other countries and it's awesome to come here mm -hmm. and we need you. And just, just get more information about it. Also go online. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to put some, or you already did probably, uh, put some uh, good home pages on. Re read and inform yourself. Yeah. If you're struggling maybe at home. You have a or degree you, you just and then your country is just failing you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So this is a great opportunity yes. to come to Germany. You have your degree, you are qualified, you're sitting at home yeah. in debt. Mm -mm. So just come to Germany, mm -hmm. look up first if mm -hmm. your degree is recognized in Germany. Yeah, also this is always a topic. You know, Germany sometimes thinks uh, we are the best, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but for sure we are not. Mm -hmm. But like in every country, you have to see that whatever degree you have is accepted here also. Yeah. So there are like some home pages. You can say, okay, I have this school degree with mm -hmm. this and this or university degree or this vocational training. Is this accepted on the same level in Germany? Mm -hmm. So this is very important what you need like to encounter those home pages where you then... Um, try to apply um, to get a job yeah. or to get a visa. Wow. Ah, Steve, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You're that welcome. means a lot. And I hope you can share some light, as I said before. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this is a good intro. Now we know they need you guys. Yes. They need qualified workers in Germany. She's going to explain to you a little bit about really high demand jobs in Germany, where mm -hmm. we're really looking for people. Guys, the list is endless, mm -hmm. but I'll share a few high demand jobs in Germany. For example, IT, nurses, doctors, basically the healthcare profession, as I said on my video, engineers, research, and so much more. You can apply this visa, okay, and you could be granted four years of this visa. Or it depends on what contract you have, you know, maybe contract is for two years or one year. It depends and guys please 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 read your contracts it has to be a valid contract with signatures and proof of degree if your degree is original you have to prove you have to prove that and I was gonna say this for people out there please check if your degree goes hand in hand with the German law because some degrees are not recognized in Germany, unfortunately, right? Yeah, and I think we can now put here, let's <laughs> see if this works later, <laughs> the homepage again, mm -hmm. where to check if your degree is accepted in Germany also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And let's say if you don't have a job, I can show you some links right now on the screen again. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Yeah, we'll do that. Or whatever. For example, like LinkedIn, mm -hmm. Stepstone, Kimeta.de, Indeed.de. Mm -hmm. There's so many links. I'll put them mm -hmm. on the screen, of course, and put them on the description box. All right, my love. What else? Yeah, also, you know, we always differ. Like, for we have a lot of high demand jobs, and some are only for people with a university degree, and some are for people who have like a vocational training. Mm -hmm. So, in Germany, the definition of a vocational training 
is like you do it two or three years. You go like, for example, in a bank or as an engineer mm -hmm. in a company and you learn whatever you have to learn for like four days a week and one day a week you go to school and also there are exams and that stuff. So it's like a dual system. You have theory and and practical. real work, practical stuff together. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the definition in Germany. But I know it's a very special thing what we have here in Germany. In many other countries do Don't not have, have it that. exactly like this. Mm -hmm. So also here you have to um, look if whatever you have done, if you might have worked in a bank for five years, if this is enough to to be called also like a, it's called a Fachkraft, like a qualified worker in Germany, and if this is accepted. And then you can also apply for a visa to come here. The visa also valid up to four years, depending on your contract. If the contract is maybe limited to two years, you only get a visa for two years for sure. So, and also the job has to correspond with the qualification Thank training. You. If you want to come to Germany to apply for a vocational training, for example, mm -hmm. Germany looks for chefs, for restaurant workers, nurses, and so on. And, um, and there's a difference. You can also come here and do this. It's called Ausbildung, this vocational training. Like, uh, three years. In English, is apprenticeship. Apprenticeship, yes. And But the more important thing is for this, you really need German language. Um, you need yeah. at least the B1 level, which mm -hmm. you have to do at home to prepare yourself because mm -hmm. you will go to Germany, you will be in school, you have to write German tests. But if you do this at home, this is also done in half a year, year easily. Um, if you want to invest in this, mm -hmm. it's possible. And um, then you can also come to Germany um, for this training. Um, but on the other hand, for sure, you need the B1 level. And the other exception is if you come here with those, how do you call this? A pre Apprenticeship. Apprenticeships. See, this word she can pronounce <laughs> way better than I can. Um, you also need when you come here for this because you only earn a little bit money. It's not yeah. a, like a full job. It's like a trainee job. So that means people who come here need to have a little bit money on their the account, account yeah, mm -hmm. for the livelihood here and to pay all the costs because you don't get paid normally, only after. So that's like all about the high demand jobs we have here. Next thing we can talk about, which fits into it a little bit, is mm -hmm. for the EU blue card, which is Ooh. only for people, unfortunately, who have a degree mm -hmm. and she's going to tell you the requirements but what I want to say quickly is that it's like a specialty to make immigration easier in Germany mm -hmm. so um, maybe you can just tell mm -hmm. a little bit about it yeah you said unfortunately but it's fortunately for others <laughs> yeah language barrier maybe here yeah. <laughs> yeah. fortunately yes but we just mm -hmm. like this way of the visa way the mm -hmm. you the EU blue card so if you are a graduate you are allowed to come here and probably in future you can have a resident permit mm -hmm. to stay here in Germany because you are valuable to the German economy and they want you to stay here for long. So if you're a graduate, you can get this resident permit. Yes, and also you can um, get it either, like from home, you can mm -hmm. apply for it or you can also, um, in case you are in Germany and you're looking for a job, Mm -hmm. and you find a job, you can then also apply for it here in Germany. Um, but there's also one big difference. So to get this, it's called like open-end um, residentship. Mm -hmm. So it means um, if you find a job here, which has a certain amount of money, I'm not going to say the, the exact amount because it's not so important, but it's like, let's say around at least 45,000 euro a year. Mm -hmm. That's what you have to have. So the German government wants to make sure that you have a high level job and can and, sustain, yourself. Um, sustain yourself. For uh, some other jobs, the, the limit is a little bit lower. It's also stated on the home pages um, we're giving to you. Mm -hmm. but. But then you can apply um, for this green card. And once you have this green card and you work in this job for 33 months, so almost three years, mm -hmm. then this card goes into an unlimited open end residentship. And also mm -hmm. the green card comes with the blue many uh, the blue card. And also the blue card gives you some more opportunities for family reunification and just the whole concept mm. of this blue card is that Amazing. everything is made a little bit easier for integration for the people with a degree who have a job here and earn a lot of money to mm -hmm. make it easier for them. That's like the, the thinking or the thought about it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I just love this country. Mm -hmm. yeah. So nice. you spoke about the two websites. 
you mm -hmm. know, the two websites. Do you know what are the two websites? Yeah, one website, um, you just have to look where you find yourself in it. You know, one website is like more for, okay, refugees and immigration. So it's a little bit different topic. On the screen, mm -hmm. this is the website. Mm -hmm. yeah. and the second one is for graduates, people looking for a job mm -hmm. here. How to make it in Germany. How to make it in know? Germany. Yeah. And this is the link also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And there's a lot of interesting information. Also, all we say about it and also with all the exceptions, because we cannot cover all of everything. You, you yeah. know, some come from the EU, some now listening from uh, Africa, America, Africa, whatever. And mm -hmm. for many countries, there are exceptions depending on where you come. Also with some countries, Germany has special agreements mm -hmm. to make immigration easier maybe sometimes only for certain jobs so um, to it really depends. go in detail then at the end you have to look but what we want to give you research, is research yeah, yeah, research yeah research but what we want to do is like really motivate you and just open your mind to there are many possibilities in the a world lot. to change life oh, a lot yeah mm. Nice. Wow, guys, if you're not thinking of moving to Germany, I don't know what you're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> so as, I, as you said, or as I said, there's so many possibilities here. Amazing life in Germany. So number three, I think this is like quite popular one I've seen on the internet, the job seeking visa, mm -hmm. job seeker visa, let's say. Mm -hmm. So let's say you are at home right now. You have experience and also a degree. You are sitting at home and as I said before, your country is failing you or you cannot get you cannot get a job. You can apply for a job seeker in your nearest embassy, German embassy, and they can grant you a visa and you can be here for six months and look for a job. But you need to prove some proof that you can sustain yourself in Germany mm -hmm. for six months mm -hmm. while until you get a job, let's say. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Like, hey, <laughs> what else can you want? No, it's awesome. And also it's for people with a degree, but also for people with, with experience. A, experience and vocational um, jobs with vocational requirements. Qualification. Qualifications, yes. Mm -hmm. And that's quite cool. The difference is only um, when you have a vocational um, qualification instead of a university degree, you have to show that you have some German skills also. Oh, yes. That's a little bit uh, more... Um, difficult for sure but also it makes sense probably it comes from because when you have a university degree we have also many companies here in germany big companies mm. um they, they need english speaking people ah, so yes. that's probably also the reason but if you come with the vocational training work in a german bank or in engineering mm -hmm. or construction for sure then you need to speak um german yes that's true that's like the reason i don't say this out there of course in germany there mm -hmm. are english jobs you know, because yeah. I have friends who cannot speak German at all, mm -hmm. Italian, Spanish. They work in a, uh, they work in an English job in Germany, mm -hmm. which is exceptional. Mm -hmm. But most of the jobs, you need the German language. Yeah, unfortunately, fortunately, yeah. but yeah. But if you can speak English, let me say, mm -hmm. you have a little bit of advantage because mm -hmm. the German language, there's like ten percent of English words. So if you speak English, you're a bit at an advantage, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> and let me also say at the end, for sure, also maybe to get um, into the market, mm -hmm. English is very important, is mm -hmm. very good. But at the end, in every country, it's always good to speak the language they speak in the country. Because for immigration, for friends, to go to a Shop. supermarket, to mm -hmm. go to the doctor, just to feel home and to feel better. That's part of the Migration, it's, immigration, integration. Yeah. So it's important. So once that's part of in integration. Yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. No, no, fine. Continue. But but so once you really decide to to go to Germany, for example, you should start learning German as quickly as possible, and then also the rest will come by itself. Mm. You know, once you're here and you listen to it every day, you learn very quickly. So don't be afraid. The first I'm an months example. <laughs> you are. And uh, she's on a great B1 level now. I passed my exam. Yes, awesome. So excited. Oh, can you believe it? I never thought I could speak mm -hmm. this language. And look, I can speak it. I can write it. It's nice. That's crazy. But if mm -hmm. I can do it, you can also For do sure. it. I'm sure. And the last one is the nursing sector. Mm -hmm. So in Germany, as I said before, the healthcare profession, they are looking for people. Yeah. Oh, guys, in Germany, there's over 40,000 
job openings so they're looking for people but as i said before you're in germany you need at least b1 or b2 to partake in the sector yeah. you know and i had somebody she said hey she's um i had somebody from instagram she said hey i love to be in this industry mm -hmm. i take care of elderly people i love kids and she's part of the au pair world and I think you can be fit to be here, mm -hmm. but you need the German language. But you are needed in Germany. They are looking for nurses. That's true. And since she has her exam with nurses, let me also bring one at least. Because I know from uh, friends and family business a little bit, mm -hmm. it's like hotel business. Oh, yes. Chefs, waiters, receptionists, yeah. all this area. If you have the qualification Patience. if you have worked in this area mm -hmm. just let us know yes. we can help you um, there are really a lot of open jobs and uh, a lot of opportunities and just learn the language a little bit to get the entry into the market and then i tell you it's really really going to be great for you i mm -hmm. totally agree you are yeah. right so write on the comment section mm -hmm. write me an email mm -hmm. they are looking for you in germany they need people mm -hmm. but yeah it's quite interesting and i'm happy we can help somebody out there maybe mm -hmm. you never yeah, know i'm sure i'm sure we can and germany is the one of the best countries in the world mm -hmm. and I we are safe. sitting here we have connections <laughs> tell us tell us if you seriously need, yes. need best country you know best economy as you said also you. <laughs> social security <laughs> i love this country mm -hmm. and i feel like also you out there you're qualified or you're going to learn mm -hmm. something this country does need you somehow mm -hmm. and yeah i think that's about it that's what about I it i mean that's like um, what we can introduce you we can only give you like a guideline on the hand we can mm -hmm. open your mind a little bit to tell you okay mm -hmm. in this area in this branch here there are opportunities for you we cannot go into every complete detail. detail for every single country we have no time <laughs> yes. but um just if you have any other questions, ask Just us. Just write, write us. Mm -hmm. Look the home pages. We home pages, you there. description box. Mm -hmm. Please research, take your time. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and so much more to come. Another series is coming next week. And so much more I share with you guys. And, and yeah. my last word is sometimes you just have to move and just go risk and just do something. Start it. Just start it. Start, send an email, do something. Do it. We wish you all the best. And yeah, maybe your life is in Germany. You never know. It's not so bad, huh? <laughs> <laughs> not so bad, of course. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching and see you next time with more information. You never know. It can help you out there. And mega, mega love. love. <laughs> and thank you for coming, actually. You're welcome. <laughs>